10 Elegant Things You Own But Probably Never Use, Part 2. Hi everyone, Jennifer here. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. If you're new to my channel, I am the author of the Madame Chic series and Connoisseur Kids, and I like to encourage people to always use the best things that they have. In part two, I am going to share 10 more elegant things you own but probably never use, and I can't wait to get into the list. Before we begin, today's video is brought to us by The Chic Connoisseurs. They are one of the upper tiers on my memberships tab here on YouTube, so make sure you stay till the end to find out who these lovely ladies and gentlemen are. Okay, make yourself a cup of tea in a nice teacup and let's get together to talk about the 10 elegant things. Now, it's important to note that I am not telling you to go out and buy these 10 elegant things. I'm just saying if you have these around the house, you might as well use them. The first elegant thing you own but probably never use is your nice furniture. Now I think things have come a long way. This is not like the 80s where you would walk into your grandparents' house and they had an entire room covered in plastic because they didn't want you to sit on their nice sofas. <laughs> I don't see too much of that these days, but most people, if you have a house or any sort of dwelling space, have a formal area. And that's the area where if a guest comes over, that's likely where you're going to sit. Or maybe not, but some of these formal rooms are not used Ever. They're just showcases. They are the first rooms you see maybe when you walk into a home and they're never touched for fear of getting ruined. Well, if you have nice furniture in a nice quote unquote formal room, I do encourage you to use it on a daily basis. When I was a little girl, I loved sitting in the formal living room in my childhood home. We didn't really use that room that much except on Christmas or when we had a company over, but I would sit in the chair and pretend that I was a queen. Of course I did. <laughs> so if you have a formal living room or dining room, I recommend that you do use it on a regular basis. The second elegant thing you own, but probably never use, is your special cookware and bakeware. So whether you receive this as part of your wedding registry or as a gift throughout the years, many people own special items, but they never use them, and I am definitely guilty of this. I have a beautiful lemon loaf pan, for example, that I never use. I just use my plain uh, bread pans. But if you have specialty cookware or bakeware, why not bring it out and actually use it and elevate your dining to the next level? Following in the same vein, number three is your special serveware. So most families have collected either cake stands or beautiful serving spoons or forks and knives, cheese plates, things like that that we save for a special occasion. They usually only come out at Thanksgiving, birthdays, Christmas, Easter, that type of thing, but we should use them on a regular basis. So you might make a cake, put it on your beautiful cake stand. Or if you have a silver platter or something like that, why don't you serve afternoon tea in it? Let's use these things. After we die, we don't want our children to find these things and think, I did mom ever use this? I don't know. The fourth elegant thing you own, but probably never use, is a handkerchief. Now, I know, I'm slightly grossed out by handkerchiefs. I never quite understood them, but given the recent toilet paper shortage that we had here in 2020, we're all reconsidering using reusable cloths for various things, and handkerchiefs should be no exception. So whether you have inherited some beautiful handkerchiefs from your great granny, or whether you just have some on your own, maybe you got them at an estate sale, even if you don't use them in a utilitarian sense, it's a good idea to keep one or two in your handbag or maybe in your car. You never know when you're going to need a nice, beautiful hanky. Number five, on elegant things you own but probably never use, many people mentioned this in the comment section of the last video, and I'm talking about your nice jewelry. So most women have some standard jewelry pieces that they wear almost every day, and I have definitely been like that. I would go years just wearing my simple diamond stud earrings. But if you have other pieces, why not bring them out and mix up your looks? on a regular basis. You can still wear the classic pieces like our pearl earrings or our diamond or faux diamond stud earrings, but if you have some more beautiful intricate pieces that maybe you save for a special occasion in the future, bring it out and you can really enhance your outfit. Number six, 
elegant thing you own, but probably never use, are your candlesticks. So we receive some as wedding presents. Most people have one set of candlestick holders in their home, but when do we ever use them? When do we light those elegant candles? I always think of Hyacinth Bouquet's famous candlelight suppers. <laughs> I get a smile when I think about them. You might feel that they are too ornamental or too stuffy, but I encourage you to have a candlelight supper of your own. You deserve it. Number seven, if you're going to have candlesticks, you might as well use your candle snuffer. Most people blow out their candles, but I tell you what, I always feel nervous doing that. I feel like when I blow the hot wax, it's gonna bounce back in my face and I don't want that to happen. So if you have a candle snuffer, why not use it? Keep it around. It's a very elegant thing to own. Number eight elegant thing you own, but probably never use, is your beautiful sleepwear. I love to encourage women to wear beautiful sleepwear on a nightly basis, not just for special occasions, but every single night you deserve to dress beautifully even for bed. So you might have a few beautiful nightgowns, but you rarely wear them because I don't know why. <laughs> and you might just sleep in an old t-shirt and some old sweatpants. But I encourage you to use your beautiful sleepwear on a nightly basis. It is so elegant and it helps you to look presentable always. Ninth elegant thing you own, but probably never use, is your good perfume. Now I know a lot of women and men do wear their nice stuff on a daily basis, but I'm just speaking to the people here who have a scent that they absolutely love and they would like to wear it, but they just never do. Perhaps you just use one of the body sprays, uh, a cheaper body spray or something, because you don't want to use up the good stuff. But those bottles, they last a long time and they don't last forever, so I encourage you to use your good perfume on a regular basis. That is, if you like to wear perfume. The final elegant thing you own, but probably never use, is something that we actually don't even own ourselves. I'm showing you B-roll here of my parents' beautiful Waterford crystal. But yes, I'm talking about your fine crystal, your beautiful glasses. I know a lot of you do have this, whether you inherited it or you received it as gifts or it's special heirloom presents for your anniversaries. I encourage you to use them. Maybe not on a nightly basis, but at least once a week. Even a glass of water out of a beautiful crystal tumbler tastes better. So like I said, I'm not telling you to rush out and go spend a fortune on beautiful crystal, but if you have it, you should definitely use it. Thank you so much to the Chic Connoisseurs for bringing us today's video. They are one of the upper tiers in my memberships tab here on YouTube. I do one vodcast every Friday and once a month I go live. We have so much fun in the Chic Society and I would just like to thank these lovely ladies and gentlemen for supporting my channel. You can find out more about memberships by clicking the join button down below or clicking the link in the description box. It must be accessed by a computer. so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to hear about the elegant things you own but hardly ever use. Let us know in the comment section down below. In the meantime, keep calm and remain classy and I will see you in my next video.